The pandemic, inflation, and many other factors have many of us placing more importance than ever before on protecting our health, jobs, and financial well-being. Schools First Federal Credit Union wants to help us get back to basics and improve our financial picture from budgeting to finding ways to save. Joining us is financial education specialist Brittany Owens with how we can all manage spending and expenses. Welcome, Brittany. Thank you for having me, Desiree. Yeah, and such a timely topic that we're talking about. So for anyone who doesn't know who Schools First Federal Credit Union is, you serve school employees and their families, right? Yes, so we have the privilege of serving California school employees and all their family members. And we take financial security very important with our credit union as well as our members. So I'm glad to be here today to be able to talk about financial security for all our members at home. Yeah, and having financial security is something we all wanna achieve. There are certainly a few bumps in the road that many folks are facing these days. Do you have any suggestions on how to manage spending and expenses? Yes, so the very first tip I'm gonna provide is review your budget. There are so many apps and worksheets that we can find online to help us with our budget. And also rule of thumb, remember, 50% of your income going towards your needs, 30% going towards your wants, and 20% to go back towards your savings and your repayment plans. Ooh, I like that. I like how you broke that down. It makes it like a little bit more tangible to understand. And that is a good reminder. I think all of us probably want to be saving more than we are right now. What are ways to save extra even with inflation? Yeah, so even with inflation, there are so many tips that we can look at to help us to find different ways to save. For instance, looking at our cable bill or our cell phone plans, as well as our utilities. Going on to our utilities website, looking for ways to save. There may be some discounts out there that we're not even aware about. Yeah, we wanna get as many discounts as possible. Are there other ways to save on essential expenses? Of course, mm -hmm. so our insurance. Having an insurance agent go back and reviewing all our insurance that we're currently signed up for. Once again, there may be a discount that we're not aware that we qualify for. And secondly, with the rates being so low right now, review maybe doing a refinance on your auto loan or your mortgage to save on those monthly payments. Yeah, I think that's helpful because like you said, there's monthly expenses that we just kind of like go autopilot on, but if we take a look back and if there's ways that we can squeeze in and save a little extra cash, why not? Why not? <laughs> <laughs> and there are helpful, those are helpful tips. What about ways to save money when using, which I need help with, a credit card? <laughs> I think we're all in that same yeah. boat. With our credit cards, we'll want to maybe think about a balance transfer. Finding a balance transfer that has a lower interest rate is going to help us. But there's two things we'll want to be, take, you know, take some cautions on okay. doing a balance transfer. <laughs> the first are the fees. Mm -hmm. How much is the fee going to cost us for this balance transfer? Is there a cash advance fee? Is there an annual percentage fee? Mm -hmm. Making sure that we're looking at these fees before signing up. Yeah. The second is those promotional periods. Is it a short promotional period of six months or 18 months in trying to pay off our balance before that term is over? Ooh, and so since many of us want to improve our financial security, are there any ways to protect investments? Yes, there is. I know a lot of people stress themselves out looking at their investments every single day, especially for people that are getting close to retirement. But reaching out to a financial advisor can mm -hmm. really take that stress away from you and they can help you and come up with different suggestions to help you with your investments. Oh, any last tips for our viewers at home? Yes, last tips. If you want any more information, please go to our website at schoolsfirst.org. Go to our extra credit blog for more information. Or if you want to become a member or just want more information, please go to one of our 70 locations here in California. Mm -hmm. Also visit our website. Exactly. Brittany, thank you so much for your tips today. Thank you for having me. <laughs> of course. And for more information, like she mentioned, or to find a school's first branch near you, visit schoolsfirstfcu.org.